Greetings, scholars. Today's presentation is going to be on Native American conflicts, still dealing with our westward expansion and how the settlers, uh, as they continue to move west and settle the land, uh, there are already Native Americans currently there, so they run into conflicts. We're going to talk about four main conflicts today. Dakota Conflict, Sand Creek Massacre, Little Bighorn, and Wounded Knee. Let's start off with the Dakota Conflict. After various treaties, the Sioux Native Americans depended on the U.S. government for food. And the U.S. government started to uh, kind of break their treaties. They didn't really follow through with their treaties. The Sioux really depended on the food, the U.S. government for food because the Sioux were pushed off of their native lands. And in return, the U.S. government said that they could uh, provide the Sioux with food if they moved. But the U.S. government wasn't holding up their end of the bargain. And one of the famous quotes is one of the U.S. representatives um, in dealing with Native Americans tell, just set, tells them to let them eat grass. Okay, he really doesn't care about the, the well-being of the Native Americans. Eventually settlers continue to encroach on Native American land. The Sioux respond by um, attacking these settlers. And then eventually the U.S. will respond with military operations and the ending of the Dakota conflict results in 38 Dakota Sioux rounded up and convicted and hung in Mankato, Minnesota. So this takes part, takes place right kind of near home here, um, all taking place in Minnesota and Dakotas, and it ends with the um, actually the largest mass hanging in United States history happened in Mankato, Minnesota. Next slide is both Sand Creek Massacre. This happens in Colorado. Essentially, Colonel John Shivington um, has intelligence on this band of Cheyenne that he believes is very harmful, uh, militaristic, and so he goes and rounds up these, this band of Cheyenne, and Black Kettle, a very peaceful leader of the Cheyenne Native Americans, um, has no intentions whatsoever to attack. Um, he barely has soldiers with him, or warriors with him, mainly women, children, elderly people. Um, Shivington decides to attack the Cheyenne and the accounts differ, that's why there's a different in the numbers, but anywhere from 150 to 500 Native Americans were slaughtered. Battle of Little Bighorn. This happens in Montana. The Dakota Native Americans versus Custer and the kind of U.S. Calvary. And the United States, they found gold in the Black Hills in western South Dakota. So there's a huge kind of influx, there's a huge um, migration to that area of gold because people want to get rich quick. So there's a huge um, influx of population. The United States wants to build a Bozeman Trail going right through that area um, to, to further out west. And um, the Native Americans very, disagree very much with this and they kind of start attacking the settlers. So Custard is assigned to go and kind of take care of these Native Americans and because kind of a bad intelligence because of his own arrogance as well Custer decides to charge on this camp and it ends up being 2,000 Sioux warriors and the United States um, soldiers and Custer are wiped out within an hour uh, completely massacred. This is also considered uh, Custer's last stand. And the last kind of conflict is um, the massacre at Wounded Knee. The, this is this is the uh, this happens late in the um, Native American conflicts. This is kind of the last major episode um, with the Native American U.S. conflicts and relations. Um, the morale of the Native Americans is very low, so they decide they one of the um, kind of prophets, a Native American prophet, came up with the ghost dance, and this was kind of a um, a method to unite to um, hopefully bring forth spirit to shield. They're, um, the Native Americans against harm. Um, what ends up happening is they're at a camp at, near Wounded Knee. Uh, Sitting Bull is arrested and killed. His followers end up surrendering. As they're being disarmed, a gun went off, and the United States de decides to um, fire and kill, and 200 of these Native Americans are massacred and killed. And this is definitely the low point, kind of the final straw with the Native American battles. 